Hey YouTube, 1 scale Nitro fans, I just want to show y'all, eh, I don't know if I'd call it a track, I call it more of my testing grounds to try new things. So let's do a little track walk, testing ground walk. This is coming down the straightaway to the first turn. Now remember guys, this is in my backyard. I've only been messing with this thing for about a month. Then it turns mm, somewhat into a chicane. A little bit more of a straightaway. It's a pretty high speed turn back there behind me. And then we come here to a hard left hander. Now, in my prior videos, you did not see that bad boy. We don't always use the ramp. We're getting to that point. But I'll cut to the side here. Here's the ramp. Yeah. More videos to come with the ramp involved. This is what we call the back straightaway. It's kind of uphill a little bit. And then you dog leg to the right there. Behind the tire. And this is just after running and running. None of this dirt has been hauled in, banked up. This is just flat out running. Grass, dirt track. No prep. How about a no prep track? Little hill, I wouldn't call it junk, little hill. Right in the middle of this turn. This is kind of looking back on the ramp. And this track will run either way, clockwise or counterclockwise. Then you come around this corner. And this, I don't know if you can see it, but it, the terrain is definitely up and down up and down this has got a little hill to it, a little jump if you can see it's short the grass is very very short like running on a golf course almost in this section it's pretty cool And this corner is where I had the camera set up at one time on one of the videos that you can see. It's a hard right hander. Here. There we go. Looking back, it's not necessarily a straightaway, it's more of a bend to the left. A little dirt patch here. Eats it up pretty good there. What's really cool about this track is if you're out here by yourself or when we're racing with the other family members, you can see the difference of the grass height. So if somebody gets out of the groove and hits the grass, it slows them down, deters them, but doesn't break the car, doesn't flip the car over. Nobody has to go chase the car, but it definitely slows them down. Makes them pay the price if they hit that high stuff. Works out pretty well. Might spend a little extra and a lot more blades every year, but you know, I'll roll with it. 
getting pretty dry out here. It's in my yard. I guess that's what happens when it's 111 index and about 105 outside. Ah, that might be exaggerating. Maybe 102. And this is back down the straightaway. And I stand on one of my trailers here. I'm in the hot shot oil field business. So I park one of my trailers out here and we stand on it. It's pretty cool for our backyard testing ground. More to come on the ramp. Yep, that's where the Associated Reds motor was running, right here.